Hello guys, so today's subject is little black dress for your body type. I will explain each body type, how it looks and how they're gonna look in different types of little black dresses. I'm gonna use David Kibi body types system. I have huge playlist on my channel about body types. I'm gonna leave the link down below, but I'm gonna explain everything today just to make it all simple. So there are five main body types, romantic, dramatic, classic, natural and gamine. Almost each one of them has their softer and sharper version and each one has a name. So first let's talk about romantics. Romantics are very soft ladies, normally moderate to smallish in size. They can't be tall or elongated looking. They normally are voluptuous, they have soft flesh, they have gentle facial features, there's almost nothing sharp in their appearance. They look delicate, sometimes they can have slightly wider bones but they're short bones normally. Their body consists of curves, something like Marilyn Monroe. There's another body type called theatrical romantic. It's basically also quite smallish and soft ladies like romantics, but they just have slightly sharper bone structure, bird-like hands and feet. So the best little black dresses for these types would be something very delicate, gentle, and with waist emphasis. It's very important for them, otherwise they can look like a balloon. They can look great in asymmetry. They can look great with different soft details, small drapes, small cowl necks, boat necks, spaghetti straps, halter neck if it's not too restricting, dresses with a tulip bottom, like a tulip skirt. They might not look as good in A-line skirts, like little girlish short dresses, and it's not about the proportions of their figure. It's normally just not their vibe. It's making them like they got a dress of their daughter. But sometimes it might work, and many things depend on your age, your vibe, your lifestyle, and what kind of dress it is, so I just don't want to say like for anyone. Also, something that would be very severe, stiff in shape, something very straight. Again, no waist emphasis, they can look slightly like balloons, because what happens sometimes, they have some chest here, some curves, and normally it goes back to their body, which is quite narrow here, so every time they are wearing a dress like that, the fabric stands straight and doesn't go back to their body unless they use a belt or something, so that might look like a balloon and them. Something extremely oversized or something with huge details like huge bows, huge drapes might look a little bit too bulky on them because they're way too delicate for that. Now let's go to the opposite ladies, dramatics. Dramatics are normally elongated looking, quite straight, they are not voluptuous, they have sharp facial features or prominent facial features, normally elongated or quite squarish. They are very angular and they have sharp bone structure. Even if they are plus size, they are still quite straight and quite angular looking. The best dresses for dramatics would be straight, something that keeps its shape. They don't have to go for waist emphasis, but they can if they want. It's just when they don't, it's not spoiling their look. They still look very elegant and feminine. Dramatics can be very different. They can have very different vibes, ages, lifestyles. So for each dramatic, I would suggest individually, but just in general, anything that has some sharp details, sharp necklines, stiffly tailored dress, all that is gonna look great on them without even me seeing them. What can play as a contrast to their body probably would be something too soft, too girly. Shorter skirts with too many ruffles, they can look a little bit too angular with that. Their arms and legs can look unproportionately long comparing to that type of a dress because they do have that elongation. Too many drapes, too many soft rounded lines, buffon dresses, all that plays as a contrast sometimes with their body and they can look more angular than they actually are, especially in the shoulders area. Knee length is classic, it's perfect for everyone. If it's slightly longer, if it's a midi dress that finishes around the cuff area, it might look very beautiful on dramatics because they look great in vertical lines because they have accentuated vertical line in their body. If you feel like your cuffs are a little bit too wide and you don't like it, go for just under knees length. Now there is a softer type of a dramatic woman which is called soft dramatic. These women also have dramatic bone structure, sharp bones and elongated arms and legs, prominent features, sharp features, but on top of that they have soft flesh. So women like Sophie Loren, Sophie Vergara. Soft dramatics look great, again, in that classic little black dress, of course, with some additional accessories. Preferably that would be something ornate. They can accessorize their look. Ornate accessories is what they need. Sometimes they can change the whole situation. When something is too stiff and simple that might not look finished on them, they need something lavish. Even if it's a black 
eyeliner flick, some extra lashes or curls on their hair, volume on their hair. Clingy dresses look great on them too. They don't have to have waist emphasis and also they look good with slightly lowered waist. Big skirt dresses maybe for special occasions. So things that might not look as good on them is twiggy dresses, small trapeze or small and straight dress, which is very mini, very short and very stiff. Sometimes it might work, but still this woman will look extra soft and sometimes more heavy than she actually is. So normally these women prefer something softer and slightly longer, something that would hug their curves. Also, small girly dresses might not look good on them. If it's very young, soft dramatics that might look cool on them, the older the woman gets, she becomes a bit more elegant. So for them, it might be a little bit too much, too girly. Now let's go to classics. Classics are very balanced in everything. They're not too sharp, not too soft. They are moderate in size. Their proportions are quite balanced. The facial features are normally evenly spaced and they have that very classic vibe about them too. It's a lot about the vibe, but sometimes you might not see this if you don't train your eyes enough. And a great example would be Grace Kelly. So there's a softer version of classic that is called soft classic. They are very balanced with some extra softness on top. They can have just a little bit smaller bones and some soft flesh. Again, Grace Kelly, Naomi Watts, Denis Benton. Symmetry looks great on them. Whatever dress they choose, if it's symmetrical, it's already great. Everything that is too avant-garde, asymmetrical, too strange in silhouette and in shape, for the pictures it might look amazing because you can make a stylization pretty much with anyone wearing anything. But if we talk about life when a woman is moving walking somebody can make a picture of her from the distance in not prepared pose so this is where all those small details start to be very noticeable so for soft classics this classic dress of course everything with some additional different kinds of soft necklines would look amazing on them waist emphasis looks amazing small drapes and medium sized drapes also would look great if it's a girly skirt trapeze a-line skirt sometimes it can look not as elegant on them because their body body looks elegant already from the beginning, so everything that is not as elegant is playing a little bit as a contrast. Something severe also would not look nice, like a leather dress, something too restricted here, something extremely severe in shape, something very straight, these small twiggy trapeze dresses again. Sometimes though, for some soft classics, it might look nice, so you can always check. Classics can also be a little bit more sharp. So this body type is called dramatic classic. They can be a little bit more broad, but they are still very balanced. Their features can be a little bit more broad or sharp. Their shoulders, their figure can be a little bit more broad and sharp. These women can go for more stiff dresses, for more straight dresses. They don't have to have waist emphasis. Dresses that keep its shape, dresses that are sharp in outline. Again, symmetry looks amazing on them. 60s dresses look amazing. So dresses they might not look their best in is something too soft with a lot of drapes, ruffles, very girly short dresses or something very strange avant-garde is normally creating a lot of noise for them, for their elegance. Now let's go to naturals. Not Naturals are a little bit more straightish in their figure. They're normally moderate in size, then can be taller or smaller, depends on what kind of natural you are. Naturals can have some pronounced musculature, square shoulders, a slightly wider rib cage, slightly squarish facial features. If we talk about pure naturals, so again, classic dress is perfect. Slight waist definition would look great. Squarish shapes would look great. Relaxed shapes would look better than stiff shapes for naturals. Everything that is accentuating the width also is not their best choice or everything that is too restricting high necklines they look their best when they have a little bit more freedom here in this area and i don't mean that they have to go for something oversized or too hanging on them or for bad sleeves not at all but it should be something that is not very stiff not too sharp and not too geometric they might not look good with something too stiff too minimalistic it can accentuate their angularity more than it actually is leather dresses can be a little bit too stiff on them turtle neck collar can be a bit too restricting. No straps dresses can accentuate their width of their ribcage and of their shoulders. Their neck becomes shorter looking than it actually is. If they have something here, it normally balances their proportions. If they have girly dresses, it depends. It can look nice, but it should be appropriate. If they have girly dresses and high collar, it can be too restricting. Basically, these rules work best for softer type of naturals and for sharper type of naturals. So naturals can also have their softer side or their sharper side. So softer naturals are 
called, of course, soft naturals. They can be slightly smaller sometimes in size or modern in size, but besides of their slight masculine width on top, they can have some soft flesh too. They're quite sensual, slightly angular ladies. And for them, again, this classic black dress would look amazing, but at the same time, they can look great with some softness on top, some small drapes, waist emphasis, something cute, something plumping, something like pinup looks amazing on them. What everything that I said before about naturals in general, the don'ts for them probably works for them too. So strapless can accentuate the width here. High collars can be too restricting. They need freedom here. And then we also have flamboyant naturals. Normally, this is the tallest type of all. They can really be elongated, but they can have also width. And these ladies can have some extra flesh, but still they are flamboyant naturals because they still look elongated and have width on top and prominent and squarish facial features. So again, these ladies look great with freedom. They don't have to have any waist emphasis, believe it or not. As far as they have this long vertical line in their body, they would look amazing with long vertical line dresses without any waist emphasis. And they will always look elegant with that. It doesn't mean that they have to choose wide things. They can still choose narrow things. If they still want some belt or dress with waist, it's good. Layered dresses look great. Different kinds of asymmetry. Something that is free here. Not restricting dresses. Not high collars. High collars can make it too restricting. Sometimes when the dress is too tiny and sharp looking, especially along with very sleek hair, that can create a huge contrast with their bone structure. Their arms and legs can look too elongated and they can look too wide, wider than they actually are. So to balance that, sometimes they need some freedom in their hair or a little bit more freedom in their dress. Girly dresses, again, it depends. There are loads of flamboyant naturals that look great on that. I guess it depends on the vibe, on the lifestyle. But if they have relaxed shoulders dresses, side cuts on the skirt, everything that gives them a little bit more movement and freedom and air in their look will look amazing. They can look great with longer dresses too. Something that would be below the knee and longer even to their cuffs because normally they have elongated legs. But here you can always check for yourself because there are loads of different types of flamboyant naturals that I've seen. Some of them, they still don't like cuff length or they do like it, but they need some high heels to balance that horizontal cutting on their cuffs. Now let's go to fifth category. It's gamines. Normally these women are the most petite. They can also be slightly softer or slightly sharper. Soft gamines, they normally look very cute. They have quite sharp and angular bone structure, quite petite, short arms, short legs, sometimes heart-shaped faces, sharp and angular chin. They consist of sharpness and roundness at the same time in the same body. Sometimes they can look like dolls, have doll-like features, and they can have some soft flesh on top too. So for them, the best thing would be waist emphasis. Normally, waist emphasis balances all the problems with their petiteness and their extra width because of their softness. Because normally that is their biggest problem. Whatever they wear, they feel like they're too stocky looking, too close to the ground and chubby, even if they don't have any extra weight. They normally are frustrated about this. So they try to wear something that would elongate them. So when they have plunging necklines, something that would be too long to open, it's best if the dress is on a shorter side. Because if the dress is longer at the same time, longer than their knees, then they look like little girl is wearing her mama's dress. Dress just looks not for their size. So these girls look amazing with high neck lines, high collars, with halter necklines, with turtlenecks, because it doesn't look restricting on them. On contrary, it balances their proportions, especially if they have this waist emphasis. They look nice in girly dresses too. They look amazing in the tulip skirt bottoms of the dresses. Right under knee length, of course, it's perfect for everyone. They would look amazing if they added some very interesting accessories to their look that would make them look cute, like big beads, for example, or a bright scarf or certain hair or brighter makeup, something that would not make this dress too stiff on them. So if they wear something without any waist emphasis, sometimes this is when it can create a problem, especially if she is a little bit more on a soft side and a bit wider. If uh, soft gamine is a little bit more bony, sometimes it might look nice if she has this straight twiggy dress, but normally they look very cute with shorter dresses too, even in more mature age. So they can look good with some intricate small details, rounded details, like small drapes, small ruffles. They might not look as good in something oversized, bulky, without waist emphasis, if they are a bit more soft and wide. Also something with too big details, too big ruffles, huge buffons, and something 
too stiff because when it's too stiff it's a bit restricting on them and makes them feel heavier than they are they are not heavy at all mid calf length could be the worst thing for them normally because even with high heels that can drag them down again not for everyone there are many soft gummies that can pull that off maybe for that purpose you can just choose a more narrow dress because narrow dress is still elongating your body if you're choosing mid calf length for that kind of a dress but then you can wear beige sandals with a slight heel that can make your ankles look thinner and that can balance slightly that length of a dress and last but not least flamboyant gamine flamboyant gamine is also a petite woman normally on a straighter side on a drier side not as much flesh on plumpness they can be broadly angular sometimes they can have some musculature for them again classic dress would look amazing they can pull off waist emphasis but they don't have to have it if the dress is narrow Audrey Hepburn in that famous movie is a great example she's a flamboyant gamine so that dress looks amazing on her the dress should be more geometric boxy geometric dresses look great on them they are best when they are straight and narrow and something that keeps its shape they might not look as good in something too soft too hanging bad sleeves something unshaped oversized is not for them different kinds of additional width is also not for them they need something more trim all right that's it i hope that was interesting please let me know in the comments what you would like to see next from me and i'll see you soon Bye bye